If you're highly sensitive, you know the simultaneous exhaustion and excitement when you're starting something new. It could be a hobby, it could be a new relationship, a creative project, anything really. In this video, I'm going to share my own highs and lows of starting something new and have a good feeling that you're going to be able to relate as an HSP. When you're starting something new, it's a process when you're highly sensitive. You're not just going to jump right in. Instead, you're going to think about it forever and probably then some more. And I just want to be clear that this isn't a problem. It's actually an asset because the more that you pre-think, you pre-plan, the better it's going to be once you start. You're going to have a lot figured out along the way. So I want to share a recent personal example of me starting a podcast on the surface it looks like I pulled this together in a few weeks, but as an HSP, you know the truth. I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's actually been years, literally years that I've been wanting to do this, but I wasn't ready then, but I feel more ready now. So what's different? I've done my research. I've listened to lots of different podcasts in different formats. I've noticed what I like, what I don't like. I've been, thankfully, I've been on other people's podcasts. So I've been able to notice what's felt supportive and what's felt more disorganized. And I've been able to connect more and more with why this is important for me. An opportunity to create more community, to create more resources for HSPs that are accessible. Starting the podcast meant making a lot of decisions, really important decisions. Do I have guests on? Do I have solo episodes? What platforms do I use? What equipment do I need? Uh, because I have been processing this for so long, the answers actually came pretty easy. I, I knew what I wanted to do based on what felt good to me as a listener and a guest. And then I was able to divert more energy into actually getting started, getting organized, scheduling guests, things like that. So when you think about a bigger project that you've tackled, I bet you've noticed a similar process of preparing for a long time beforehand, processing, um, and then moving into action, not jumping right into action, but making small decisions along the way, really feeling it out. And it could be anything you've done, you know, changing jobs and moving somewhere new, starting a self-care practice or a new hobby, having a tough conversation, setting a boundary with someone that you were scared to set. All these things take a lot of preparation. So when you put in so much processing time, emotional, mental energy, it's a lot to invest. But as a highly sensitive person, those resources are really precious. They're definitely finite. However, the more meaningful the project is, or the changes, the more generative it's going to be along the way. So it may take a lot of energy, but it's also replenishing energy at the same time. So for instance, with starting this podcast, it may not seem incredibly meaningful on the surface, but it supports this deep value of making connections, of creating a different narrative of how to live as an HSP. I want other people to see those examples. And I could feel that purpose behind me. It was feeding me as I worked longer hours than usual to get it started, to go through those initial interviews, to really put myself out there in a new way. And it ended up feeling more exciting than exhausting. So I'm sharing this recent example from my own life, but you could really apply this to anything that you're doing as an HSP. So think about you know giving yourself time to ease into whatever you're doing, not rushing because there's value in thinking things through. There's value at going at your own pace because you're going to make fewer mistakes you're going to feel more aligned. You're going to put your precious energy towards what's most meaningful to you. So be discerning when you are doing this. You're going to be able to create more energy in the process, and you can do it on your own timeline. So feel free to share your thoughts on this in the comments. I always love hearing from you. And you can check the description below for more HSP resources, including my free sensitive self-care workshop. And you can also listen to the podcast if you're interested. So thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.